Welcome back everyone, welcome back, so let's play Defense Grid 2, Blind. We are on the second mission, Supply and Demand. We've got a new alien type, which is the Rhino, and we've got the Laser and Boost Towers, which is gonna be awesome. Let's go for the story, uh, as per usual. Uh, we've got General Kai, oh. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, I see! Okay, so, for the Inferno Towers, you can select the uh, strongest alien in range to be the highest priority and do 20% more damage, and also I can take General Kai. That is cool. Whoa, whoa! Bloody hell, I have to get used to that. So, that is cool. You don't just select which one you want. You just, you know, upgrade them with whatever you see fit. That is cool. Let's launch. I spoke to the Formicant. After dropping into the void, it was clear that I had no choice. To know the enemy is essential. My middle stomach turns at the memory of its touch. It left a carrion reek in my mind. Enough. I will see the void again after this report and cleanse myself. Our essential plan must not deviate, but now we can take into account the information I have gathered. The Formicant said, leave us empty. Such madness. Formicans are hollow things until we remake them as soul cases. We lift them from isolation and fill their void. So why does this Formican delay us? Not with the mad thrashing of wild creatures, but with ideas, thoughts. I will draw it out and see what more I can learn. It's mysterious. Shuttle landing in five. Whoa. This area appears to be clear of aliens, Commander. At least for now. That is cool. Maybe that was just a small scout team. Or the first wave of an invasion force. I do hope I'm wrong, but honestly, that sim rarely happens. That's a pretty, uh... Not picking up the distress signal anymore. Short path. Perhaps we should send a response instead of waiting on our digital behinds. This is Advisor Zakara. <laughs> Eliminate the aliens here. Then please find me. Immediately. Who was that? Is that the distress beacon? And what? Aliens? Who? Wait. Aliens inbound. Oh, bloody hell, we don't have a lot of, uh, money. So, I'm going to put the Inferno Tower here in the front. And then a Gun Tower over here, and then probably some Laser Towers, if I can get them. Oh, they're coming soon. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I'll need to make, uh... Inflicts heat damage that continues to burn enemies even after they have sped past. Um, I obviously can't block this. Oh, one of them took a core. We gotta be careful though. Because they can quickly... I should have done a boost for this one as well. Because w when these guys are carrying cores and they're killed, others will take cores as well. There you go, come on! They will take the course! Damn it, they got the course. Don't like that. Alright, I gotta be careful. Um, let's put a... Another Inferno Tower here. And then a Cannon Tower here. No, let's have a boost. It boosts their height and abilities, it says. Or probably range as well. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Well, where did you come from, little guy? Damn it. Yeah, they're gonna get that core. Damn. Little bastard. I Got away. a new tower design on the local network. It is called a boost tower. It can block pathways, and yet you can still build towers on top of it. That could be useful. And, unfortunately, I also am detecting a new type of alien. Charged is like a rhinoceros, but slows down dramatically in the turn. Interesting. So let's make it turn. A lot. Building boost towers might help with that. I like the way you think, Kai. And Commander, I also have a laser tower available to help with all enemies of speed. You're welcome. Oh, we didn't lose a core? I thought we did lose one core. Right, so I'm going to place another Inferno Tower here. Boost Towers are inexpensive towers that can't damage aliens, but they can block their paths. They require very little resources to build, and an additional tower can be built on top of them. 
Right, Inferno. If a lower is built, if a tower is built on top of a boost tower, you have the options to purchase boost upgrades. These ah can increase the damage output of the accompanying tower. Temporarily deactivate shield. The laser tower heats up the aliens and sets them on fire. Fire will continue to inflict damage. All right, let's have a laser tower so I can buy upgrades. Sell both. Upgrade Inferno or upgrade Overcharge. Output of the boosted tower by 25%. That's pretty cool. When you get a red tower, for example. Uh, maybe another Inferno over here. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do another laser. That's the Inferno here. That I should probably upgrade. But not for now. Overcharge, 25% more damage, hmm. I think I want- Oh, there's another uh, place here I haven't even seen. Ah, oh, damn, I should have made them walk over here then. That's not good, oh well. Well, that's wasted. Um, let's have a... Um, let's have a boost over here and we'll have a cannon tower. Another inferno here, so they go through here. Cannon, please. And then we'll have boosters here. Like that. No, I can't place it there, damn it. No. Oh. That is not a problem. That's a lot of aliens. Oh man. Yeah, the only complaint I have so far is that these uh, tower locations might be a little difficult to see sometimes. Not too, not too big of a deal, of course, but uh, just a little bit. Right, I'm definitely playing a. Hmm. What should I place here? Another laser tower. No, another Inferno. And then I have to upgrade these. I'll upgrade the Inferno. Sort of these. These are still walkers, right? Yeah. Still walkers. Uh, on uh, on the ninth way, we we're getting something new, I believe. Let's upgrade this laser. Because it's doing quite a lot of work over here. The command shuttle is the interface between you, your command team, and the defense systems of the local base. And it's still too loud. I do apologize about that, but let's uh, let's get those effects down. There we go. <clears throat> I could place another cannon tower here, but uh, not a lot of... Moving your build cursor over the command shuttle and left-clicking on it will bring up the command shuttle window. Oh yeah, we've already done that. Uh, last time. Right, um... Let's upgrade this laser. Oh, I wanted to upgrade this one. Never mind. Yeah, the laser tower, there it is. Looks pretty cool. That thing is done. Cooked. I need to upgrade this one as well. I'll, I'm just gonna upgrade it now, even though the aliens are there. I just gotta do it. I need more firepower there. They got one of our cores back. Excellent. We still have all our cores, apparently. There we go, nothing is missing. Die, aliens, die! That's gonna be a little more attack, but I want probably this overcharged. Let's do this. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's instant! Oh, that is cool. It's instant. That is not bad. Probably should uh, overcharge this one as well. There we go. More damage! And now it's going for the one with the highest health. Hmm. Perhaps not the best idea because now it keeps turning. Because, you know, the highest health people are... Well, aliens are coming here. Uh, the Rhino is a tough bipedal unit. They can sprint on straightways, but must slow down when encountering curves in their path. They carry one core. Uh, they're getting killed pretty nicely, I think. I think we need more overcharge on these cannon towers now. Should probably upgrade them as well. Yeah, they're, they're getting down nicely. Look at that. 
Bleh. Oh, it just dies. Are they ragdolls? Yes, they are ragdolls. Mm, no, actually not sure. Right, let's see. I want to upgrade this laser tower again. Because it's overcharged. Yeah. Look at that thing. It's angry now, it's red. <laughs> this doesn't seem to be a scouting force, Commander. I wonder how many planets in this system they've infested. I believe I can answer that. All of them. <laughs> With whom are we speaking? Did you send the distress call? You may address me as Zakara. I am an artificial intelligence life form and prime advisor to the Council on Takat. Identify yourself. Ugh. Identify ourselves? <laughs> well, my name is. You're welcome. The commander is called. A little gratitude would be nice. And she's. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> when your solar system is on the brink of annihilation, menace become irrelevant. Oof. A not completely unreasonable point, I suppose. Indeed. We have to uh, upgrade this laser probably as well. Hmm. Or should I upgrade this inferno tower here? I'm going to upgrade that one. <clears throat> Look at that planet down there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I like all these different areas you visit in the Defense Grid games. Towers placed behind other towers will have a limited line of sight, but can still fire between obstacles. That is true, just like in the first game. Um, hmm. If you manage to save your resources, you will be awarded more continually over time. The more unspent resources you have, the larger the reward. Interesting. Oh, look at them die so quickly to those Inferno Towers. Each stolen core reduces the reward for unspent resources. Interesting. Awesome. I want to upgrade that Fire Tower, though. Burn! Burn! Burn it! Just like in Viscera Cleanup. Burn it! Oh yeah, I haven't been watching this red laser tower. I want to see how it works. Yeah, you can see I'm getting resources. 480, 490, 500, 510. It's pretty nice, so I probably shouldn't be upgrading just immediately. Although I will upgrade this uh, Inferno Tower. Hmm, I should probably upgrade this one. Of course, this is not the best time to upgrade it because there are aliens to be shot at, but oh well. I will probably p place a cannon tower down here. Or maybe even better, over here so it can fire over there as well. Yep, over here. It's pretty cool. Nice. Oh, look at all the resources we've gotten. Where do they come from? Right, um... Let's upgrade the Inferno Tower as well, because it's got a nice line of sight over here. Now if I... Does it have that thing where it's shooting at the, uh... Hmm. I don't know, actually. Press T or touch the heat map icon to show the range and damage coverage of your built towers. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh! That is very cool. You can see the range if you go over them. And you can see the damage like this from all towers. That's pretty cool. Lots of new stuff. Yeah, that red laser tower is angry. Very angry. Bring it on, aliens. Right, um... There's another cannon tower. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Why not? Probably upgrade this laser tower as well. Of course, I should be upgrading these towers the most, because this is where most of the action takes place. Bang. And probably overcharge it as well. Let's uh, overcharge this one. <clears throat> yeah, look at that heat map now. Lots of damage over there. More, please! There they are. Um, I want to upgrade that one. So what's the heat map now? Yep. Very red. You guys are in trouble. Look at that. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Let's see this one. Getting hit by lasers. Boom! <laughs> Pretty awesome. 
Let's see the red laser tower from uh, up close. I want to see up close. I'm gonna upgrade this one as well. To hell with the resource thing. It doesn't... Armored and fast as can be in the straightaway. Ooh. In other words, trouble. Oh yeah, they, they do slow down a little bit. Not a lot, but they do a little bit. Let's see the red laser towers. Yeah. Oh, those poor little things. Look at them. Yeah, I don't think they're actually ragdoll. I think they're just... Yeah, they're just animated to fall over. Still cool. And they've got different death animations. If they burn to death, they just fall over. If they, um... Lots of money. If they, um... Get... Um... Destroyed by cannon. Or these gun towers. They sort of explode into little pieces. It's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, why not? Upgrade them all. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far so good. It's been pretty easy, but of course this is only, what, the second mission? So, yep, there you go. It's gonna be more, hmm. I'm gonna overcharge this one. Or boost this one. This, this one hasn't been getting any love yet. But, I just forgot, we'll still, we'll have uh, aerial units as well. So that's gonna be interesting. Aerial enemies. Pfft, that was a cakewalk. Wait a second. Do you only get re resources after a wave like that? The bonus resources? I don't know, because this does Look, they don't seem to be going up any faster. Even when I have 2,500 resources. So I'm guessing it's after a... Uh, after the end of the wave. Upgrade a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the last wave. Man, they're getting destroyed. Absolutely annihilated. Congratulations, Commander. We did it. Yes, well done. But now we must return me to Tiket immediately. Okay. All readings tell me that's the furthest planet in the system. It is. After I was taken by the aliens, they held me for some time. I was able to escape into the network when they brought me to this mining facility. I must return. Well, I understand that, but we have passengers. They come first. What's the closest planet, General Kai? Garish is the closest colony. There will be aliens there as well. And I believe that's exactly why we are headed there. All right. Well, if you are determined to fight, allow me to provide additional assistance. How exactly? If you'd like, I can reprogram the Endurance's orbital laser and allow it to overcharge towers it hits instead. They'll do extra damage for a period of time. Hmm. How long? That could come in handy. Something definitely to consider. Shall we battle on, Commander? Yes, let's battle on. We're, we're way past the Golden Award, but I'm sure that's going to change soon with the more difficult levels. But, well, thank you for watching. We've got suspension next time. That looks very familiar. That uh, map. Of course, it's not the same one as, as in the first game, but very familiar nonetheless. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.